Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Lavinia and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week. We talk about all things acne positivity on here, acne skincare and really it's just an open space that if you struggle with skin insecurities or skin issues, we talk about them here, address them and also talk about how skincare can sometimes help. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the subscribe button. And in today's video, we're going to be starting a brand new skincare care trial I test out a ton of skincare here on my channel um, usually for about like two weeks for each product just to really get into it and see what it's all about and today we're gonna be testing out a brand new sunscreen well I don't know if this is really brand new but it's new to me so brand new sunscreen and this is from hero cosmetics this is their force shield super light sunscreen and it's an SPF of 30 and the cool thing about this is it's actually a tinted sunscreen that is green so hello people with redness rosacea acne this might be for you and we're gonna be putting it to the test in this video this was actually recommended to me by one of my followers on TikTok, so thank you I'm very excited to get into this um, so if you want to see this two-week trial on this green SPF 30 zinc oxide sunscreen just keep on watching oh you tell me stories you tuck me in and the second you leave if I call you right back so let's get into some product information first i will say that i was very surprised to see that this is a zinc oxide sunscreen because i do have very sensitive skin and also dry skin but i do also have that acne so um zinc oxide is typically the filter i like to go for because zinc tends to help with my acne but it's also safe for my sensitive skin i don't have to worry about any allergic reactions from those chemical filters but using a mineral filter like zinc oxide that's a physical sunscreen can often leave that really thick and white cast on the skin so when i saw this i was like there is no way that is zinc oxide base but it is at it's at 17.53 percent and um i've already swatched this i couldn't help myself <laughs> and it was so smooth so i can't wait to get it onto my face so this is supposed to protect and respect acne prone skin with zinc oxide like isn't that like what I've been wanting in a sunscreen for so long? You do get 50 milliliters in here. It's for all skin types and um, it's supposed to be an airy light gel texture that gives you a smooth weightless finish and visibly blurs redness with a super sheer green tint. It plays well with makeup and you can wear it alone or use it as a primer too. It's a non chalky UVA and UVB shield. It's also fragrance free and silicone free. Like holy isn't that like everything Someone asks for in a sunscreen, no white cast, non-greasy and thick feel, fragrance free, sensitive skin safe, acne prone safe, like what? And zinc oxide, man, like I'm, I haven't even put this on my face and I'm like already so excited. So this is what it looks like right here. I really like the packaging on this. I like that it's a squeezy tube, but a pump as well. That's great for traveling, really nice. So I'm gonna go onto their website here just to make sure I'm not missing any additional information. So I purchased this for $19.99 USD. It came out to be a little bit more Canadian obviously, and I'm pretty sure I did pay shipping for this, but it did arrive pretty quickly. Now let's take a look at this ingredient list because other than that zinc oxide at that 17.53%, it does also claim to have a green surge, which apparently gives it that green color. And they claim that this is an antioxidant superfood botanical. I don't know about that. I'm looking at the ingredient list right now and I'm not really sure what is giving it that green color. I'm thinking it might just be coloring, but I'm not too sure about that. That. we do have some different extracts in here like plant extracts which may be it um i hope that none of these fruit extracts irritate my skin so we'll have to see about that but i also see vitamin e in here which i really enjoy clipperol glycol very nice we do have silica in here so that might be what is giving it that smooth um kind of silicone like texture we do have some boosting SPF ingredients in here as well that also would help with that smooth texture. I wanna get this on my skin, so let's just apply it. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let's apply this SPF. So this is what my skin's looking like right now. We do have some of those breakouts. You know, it's a stressful time of the year and the weather's changing, so my skin just reacts to that. But hopefully this can kind of help with a bit of that redness, but also be safe for my acne prone skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump this out oh there's that green texture guys texture color <laughs> there's that green color 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab about that much because that's how much I usually use as far as sunscreen goes. So it's actually pretty green, okay. Oh my goodness, okay. So it is a very light texture as you can see here, not thick at all, like very lotion-y compared to your typical like thick SPF. It smells like a little plant-like, but no like additional fragrance in here. Wow, that is smooth. It's actually pretty moisturizing too, which my dry skin really likes. And I feel like if you have more oily skin, you could probably get away with just using this instead of your moisturizer. Okay, let's take a look at the white cast. Honestly, there's not really a white cast. Like, I'm pretty pale, so I'm maybe not the greatest person to talk, but I feel like compared to some of my favorite sunscreens even that leave a very harsh white cast, this is like more invisible. I'm gonna take a bit more and I'm gonna go over like some of my acne spots because it has that green tint, but it's not like anything crazy. I do think it kind of helped with that redness a little bit. Sometimes when I rub my face too much, my skin gets really red, but I feel like it actually looks really good with the sunscreen on. Kind of gave me a bit of that glow. It doesn't look like too white or chalky and it blended out so nice. I'm honestly so impressed so far. I never thought a mineral sunscreen could look so nice on the skin like this and be really good for my acne prone skin and sensitive skin too. So definitely really excited about this. Um, I'm going to keep using it. This is just day one. So I'm gonna continue using this every single day in my morning routine and I will update you guys soon. All right guys, so it's been about one week that I've been using the Hero sunscreen and honestly, I've really been enjoying this. So I usually take like a pump and a half to make sure that I have enough SPF going on. Now I am having some hormonal breakouts right now and I haven't found that this SPF has really irritated my skin. I like that it has a nice moisturizing consistency to it. So if you're someone who has maybe oilier skin or more normal skin and don't need a morning moisturizer, this could be just a nice like one and done thing where you just apply this and you have a bit of that moisture and hydration but also your SPF really really great consistency especially under makeup it's so lightweight like it's incredible sometimes that's the struggle i find with wearing um mineral sunscreens with makeup is they're so thick and cakey and they almost just like make your makeup look worse um but you need that spf so it's kind of hard and then i don't always like to use chemical sunscreens because a lot of time they sensitize my skin so the fact that this is such a lightweight formula but it's a physical mineral sunscreen with that zinc oxide in there is like amazing loving this formula love that it has a bit of that green tint in there i find that it kind of you know helps with my redness and stuff it's not like gonna change the game it's not makeup it's not a color corrector but a bit of that green tint can definitely kind of help but so far so good no reaction to this so far really great on my sensitive skin really great with my acne and my dry skin and stuff so really been enjoying this that's all I have to say for the one week update, but I'll see you guys next week. All right guys, so it has been two weeks since I've been using the Hero Cosmetics Fort Shield. Um, and I'm going to apply it today. I'm just doing my morning routine and this is the last step. So again, it's pretty like clear in color. Just goes on really nicely and look how easily it blends out. Like I can't get over that. For a zinc oxide based sunscreen, like it is insane how easily this smooths out. Take a bit more. Go down the neck. All right, so overall, I am obsessed with the sunscreen. That's the only way to put it. I think I have found probably my new favorite sunscreen, um, especially because, you know, we have a bit of that green tint in there. It's gonna help a bit with my redness and um, you know kind of 
diminish the appearance of my acne scars and stuff throughout the day. Um, it acts as a great primer for my skin. It's super lightweight, doesn't feel like that heavy sunscreen feel. It's zinc oxide based, which doesn't sensitize my skin and doesn't cause reactions in my skin. Um, zinc oxide is my favorite filter, but a lot of the time it can come with that greasy, thick, hard to blend out white looking um, paste on your face. This does not have that at all. You guys saw how easily it blends out. So I love that about it. Um, it's like safe for acne prone skin, good for all skin types. It doesn't, you know, dry my skin out or make it too oily or anything like that. And it hasn't caused any reactions, sensitivities, breakouts in my skin. It's just such a perfect product. So especially if you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin, I would highly recommend this. And I think this is like the perfect sunscreen for that. It's the perfect zinc oxide sunscreen because it doesn't have that intense white cast. Definitely one of the best sunscreens I have tried ever. So really, really like this. It's definitely become like my new go-to SPF for every day. I cannot say enough good things about this sunscreen. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this trial on this sunscreen. Um, I'm really happy I discovered this and thank you to whoever Whoever on TikTok mentioned it to me to try it out because I'm obsessed. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my content, you can go check me out on the Acne channel. I'm a weekly host on there and we talk about all things skincare 101, acne, and overall it's a very informative channel. So I definitely recommend you go check it out if you love skincare like I do. And if you want to see more daily content, you can go check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Lavinia Rosanda. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for my